Sandy, what does blockchain technology make possible for the asset management industry? So first off, it makes possible a whole new type of interoperability between assets, right? Uh, today, when I think about using one of my assets uh, and using it as either collateral or using it um, to create leverage or using it to borrow or to lend or using it uh, to engage with another counterparty, there's a lot of frictions that go along with that process, right? And there's a lot of timing delays. The contracts that I agree to sit separately from the assets and the systems that are moving the assets. There's a lot of difficulty. Uh, we make it work, but we make it work a little bit with chewing gum uh, and with uh, sticks, right? What this enables is this to really operate as an effective, smooth system, right? Smart contracts that Sergey had mentioned earlier are so critical, right? I mean, my aha moment about this whole space came when I realized that I could now embed the contract that governs the asset's activities into the asset itself and that the contract would move with the asset. Right. Just think about that and all the problems that that solves in today's financial ecosystem. That is what we are starting to enable. And that is what Sergey's team is starting to enable. And that's going to allow for things like intraday repo, intraday short flash type lending, uh, ability to actually now start to use assets interoperably between each other in different ways in the wallet to optimize your asset holdings, uh, just like we today sweep certain uh, unused cash from an account, a fund account into a money market fund, and then back the next day, we're going to have many more types of these types of processes that are going to enable intraday efficiencies and 24-7, 365 efficiencies that will allow us to operate over weekends and overnight in off geographies. These are going to all be enabled because these new technologies can operate in a way that is semi-automated, uh, where once the contract is properly set up, it's going to be able to be executing even when there's not someone deliberately overseeing it. And I think that opens up huge potential uh, for the industry. So I think you're going to see it primarily in financing, um, in the near term financing and in efficiencies around settlements and in efficiencies around capital utilization and in efficiencies about collateral optimization.